Welcome, my friends, to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend today on the final cut. We've got one of my consequence films for my uh, missing so many Oscar predictions. And we've got Stolen, starring none other than I'm gonna save the day, Mr. Nicholas Cage as Will Montgomery, a thief who has robbed many a bank. Well, on one certain heist, his partner screws things up for him, and he ends up getting pinched. But... They never find the money, so he only gets eight years. When he gets out, he tries to reconnect with his daughter, but so does his partner. His partner kidnaps the daughter and gives Will Montgomery 12 hours to get $10 million that would have came from the bank heist, and otherwise he's going to kill Will Montgomery's daughter. It kind of sounds like Taken in concept, doesn't it? Well, stolen did take from Taken on a number of levels, uh, but it also stole from a lot of other films. Now, that's not necessarily bad. Uh, I will say the first, like, 10, 15 minutes of the film really caught me in it. You know, it really got me in it. I'm like, oh, this is the type of film it's going to be. Perhaps this isn't as bad as people were saying. But as the film moved along, it got, it got clunky. Uh, it... it it just tried, I don't know if it tried to do too much, or if it was just the fact that you, there's suspension of disbelief, there's some things that you're going, okay, I'm just going to let you guys get away with it. And then there's so many things that happen in this film that make you just go, he just did that? You know, the FBI are that dumb? You can hop on a float that easy in a parade? I mean, nobody notices this guy just got shot? You know what I mean? There, there are so many of those moments in here that it takes away from the film and, and really lowers it down to what could have been a more suspenseful type of film. Uh, you know, maybe it was because it was written, the script that was written by David Guggenheim just didn't gel. It looked like he was trying to grab from all these different types of films and, and be a little bit different with them, but then he didn't. He ended up being very predictable and cliche with this movie. Uh, you know, Josh Lucas does a great job as Vincent, the, the bad guy in here. You also got Danny Houston, you got Malin Ackerman, who all do decent jobs. You know, they're directed well. Simon West directs this, who directed Expendables 2 and Con Air, and it's directed very well. It's just this, it lacks a solid script. It, it, it lacks an original script of any kind. Okay, and there's just so many of those moments that really take you away going, wow, they got away with that? That by the end of the film, you know, you're just hoping for something different. And then when they get to the solution of the film to help uh, Nicolas Cage's character, Will Montgomery, what he comes up with is just, <laughs> just you're like, why didn't you do that eight years ago before you got pinched? I... I don't know, folks. Uh, it was a hard sell for me. I can see why it was recommended as a consequence film, and Stolen for me only gets one and a half stubs, okay? No, I'm not a big Nicolas Cage fan. I do like some of his films. I actually enjoyed Con Air on a number of levels, but this one, it just, uh, you know, I think a better solid script and possibly a different lead actor, this could have been a better movie. Nicolas Cage is just embodying his Gone in 60 Seconds character or every other character we've seen in recent years played by Nicolas Cage. So, you know, if you're a big Nick Cage fan, you can go see it. If you're, you know, a Simon West fan, you may enjoy it. But if you think that this is anything but just a kind of a low-scale a uh, very uh, cliche film, then uh, if you think more than that, then you're going to be disappointed. And that'll about do it for us here in the final cut. Until next time, keep that to the stuff.